So with the Pakistanis motoring along at over five runs per over as Srinath continues. And edges and straight to the man at first look. Rahul Dravid making no mistake and just what India wanted. Unlucky not to get the edge this time. So he'll again trying to play it square on the wicket on the offside. Getting the edge and straight into the hands of Rahul Dravid who makes no mistake. So just what India wanted. The wicket of Amir Sohail was out for 12 and Pakistan. And perhaps varies pace a little bit with the odd slower delivery. Well, that's a lovely strike from Said Anwar, just short of the boundary rope. That's well played. Sensible cricketer. He jazz, good fighter, and he uses his brains when he's out there batting. Shot. You can't afford to miss your length by very much at all with Said Anwar. Okay. I think Jadeja has got to pitch it up and bowl according to this feel. And basically, his feel is attacking more on the offside, and he should know that where should he bowl. Because he, an just interesting chain for India. Let's see what happens. And he's gone. Well taken. Kumblai, not only is he a good bowler, but he's an excellent fielder. And he snapped that up easily. That's a good blow for India. And look at that. Not up to him. He goes for it. Straight to Kumli. Mind you, it was a straightforward catch. I've seen Kumli taking much better catches than that. Pakistan 80 for 2 in 14.1 overs. Runs and over. Oh, that's brilliantly struck. He's looking very good. Very dangerous player, Ijaz Ahmad. He does packs a punch when he hits the ball. And this shot is played extremely well. He's waited on it and then uh, hit. It's in the air. It could be caught. It should be. And he is. He's a big wicket for India because he's a dangerous player in Zamaam. Venkatesh Prasad wearing his pace there, Inzamam coming down the track, trying to chip it over the infield, getting a leading edge. And uh, Srinath making no mistake. Seja Deja there. Oh, that's up in the air. Joshi is getting underneath it. He takes it quite easily. Malik never looking comfortable. And making the right-hander go over the top. Not quite timing it. The ball not coming onto the bat. And Sunil Joshi taking a good catch, keeping his eyes on the ball and taking it quite comfortably. So Pakistan lose their fourth wicket with 98 runs on the board. If they try and get after him. Chipped in the air, good! Mohammad Azaruddin, the fielder. And Mohammad Azaruddin taking a very, very good catch. Anticipating it well, diving forward and making no mistake. Easily the best fielder in the Indian team. Pakistan lose their fifth wicket, 108 runs on the board. And a chance well taken. Tendulkar this time. Okay, not really going through with the shot, just stopping and pushing at it. But was that a smart catch? Lovely piece of fielding. 131 for seven, Pakistan. This will be tight. And I think he's got home again. Lloyd Barker has called for the uh, video replay. But I think uh, Wazim Akram's got home. Yes, I agree with Ian. It, it, usually when the fielder hits the stumps is uh, when the batsman is struggling. But Wazim Akram, he's been running very quickly, judging very carefully. As soon as the batsman's played it, he's been off. <laughs> I'll be surprised to see him out. Oh, it just is. I think he's just a goner. No, but just as they say in Yorkshire, but it's tight, but I don't think he's going to make it. There it is. He's out. Brilliant feeling again by India. And seeing the Pakistan captain on his way. And that really is a big blow now, because uh, his next tail enders to come are not too special at batting. Hundred and thirty five for eight. Oh, well taken. I 
once again India doing uh, some very good work in the field long off that's beautifully struck he beats Sunil Joshi I reckon that uh, all that glass down there's got to be a big temptation for some batsmen before the week's out well that's an excellent shot hit that well and what a good finish for Pakistan first six of the innings coming off the last ball he's a very competitive cricketer Saklain Mushkak obviously somebody's had a word to him and said it uh, doesn't hurt if he can bat a bit as well as get wickets and the young man has definitely worked hard on his batting so Pakistan with quite a competitive score at 170 for 9 Sachin Tendulkar won the toss and sent Pakistan into bat. They got away to a pretty good start. The two left-handers, Saklain and Saeed Anwar, as they always do, really getting after the bowling. Saeed Anwar, he's in excellent form. Ijaz Ahmed, very sensibly for his 35. Five matches to be played here in Toronto. Oh, that's got to be close. Lloyd Barker has a long look. He must have felt it was just going down leg side. Oh, well, you'd be jumping out of your armchair watching that, wouldn't you? That hit him about uh, halfway up the pads, pitching on. Ooh, that might have been just a good decision by the umpire, just drifting down, but that would have got you out of your armchair for sure. Surely, no. Once again, the hands come around. I tell you what, they came around that third shout, his hands, and I'm not sure why they didn't keep going because uh, I think the, not that one, but the previous one was out. Yeah, I think this one is just missing again. He tries to play through the line, the sash, and the ball nips back, hits him on the pad, and that's going down. I don't think there's much doubt about that. But the ball before. Like all good players, Tendulkar taking the opportunity to pick off the one reasonably loose ball in the over. Another good shot and that's away to the boundary. Tendulkar not making any mistake when he gets an opportunity. 13-14 for North. Good reward for Wakar, he's deserved that wicket. But he'll settle for 18 for one. Book was worth uh, an answer in the affirmative. But Tendulka has hits this in the air and clean. One bounce into the fence, in fact, has gone over the rope. This time he comes down the track and hits it straight over the bowler's head and out of the ground for six runs. Because India is totally dominating the game at the moment. Slow delivery and nicely picked up by Dravid. The hit over mid on for four. Waited on it nicely, spotted it early. Easily achieved. 50 to Tendulkar. Top inning so far. He's held the batting together. Really, he's been a cornerstone of his innings. But this is a 33 over as a side match. That's ball. First bounce, picked the catch so beautifully. Not too far from uh, Azad Mahmood, who was standing at long off. That's brilliantly far placed. Man at long leg, man at deep square. Picks the gap marvellously. He's a great player of spin bowling this point. He scooped that and he's gone. Amir Sahel, the catcher. Malik picks up the wicket. There's a fielder there, but he's only watching. The ball sailed right over him for six. Oh, that's a big one. What a way to run off that over. Two six. It's traveling a long way. A 
Did he run out with the ball? I'm by Lloyd Barker, signal six. Well, that's a magnificent shot. There you have a great bowler uh, charging in and bowling pretty quick. Just showing that uh, he can do it off the back foot as well as the front foot. And smashed away through the covers. That's it for India. Beautifully yeah. played on the up by Mohammad Azaruddin to finish off the game with a lovely cover driven boundary. Bongia out cheaply, beautifully bowled by Vikar. Sachin, as we are talking about, brilliant 89 not out. Dravid played a very good innings for 39, and I think he had a great partnership with uh, Tendulkar. And uh, Azaruddin finishing up with 30 not out. Very good innings. Like I said, he had a, not a happy time in Sri Lanka. Now he covered up. Here's the bowling analysis for you. Vakar Yunus started off brilliant. Absolutely a gem of a spell he started off with. Four overs for 10 runs, one wicket of uh, Mongia. And uh, slightly unfortunate not to get uh, Sachin. But like I said before, it's the decision of the umpire and he's the judge out there.